Right, I've got my laptop, it's time to watch the KSI Logan Paul press conference. Oh my god. The microphones are shocking. So, without further ado, let's get this party started. Stealing the line from Statman Dave. Let's get this party started. Two-time world champion, Shannon the Cannon Briggs. Shannon the Cannon Briggs is doing it. I suppose at least if I've been replaced, they've done it with a world heavyweight champion boxer. Someone who could fill these shoes. I mean, literally, that's how high you have to go up the pecking order in order to fill me. Still not quite me, though. My name is Shannon the Cannon Briggs. I'm the two-time heavyweight champion of the world. He just said that, so. I'm excited to be here. We got something going crazy today. We got something going crazy. Listen, we got four fighters who just don't like each other, guys. Actually, we're not all, they don't all hate each other. Could we just be clear on that? Two of them are brothers. Quite like each other. The other two, I'm not so sure. I don't really know the polls. Now, check this out. We're going, it's going to be a crazy day. I'm excited. I know you're excited. I used to like um, Shannon Briggs when he fought. Um, he was a real hard bastard and um, a lot of knockouts but then whenever he fought someone who was like elite level like a Klitschko or a Lewis he just got schooled like I'll be honest here um, and now he's sort of more famous for just walking around shouting let's go champ but he's it's a fun thing having him there you know what I mean it's good I'm not bitter that I wasn't asked to go to LA can we just I'm fine with it it would have been nice it would have been, it would have been lovely but extra plane tickets in it What is yeah. what Shannon Briggs doing? Yeah! Let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! He started saying let's go champ to himself once, basically, and it just sort of he made it his thing, but like I think it's I think it's a bit of a tick from all the brain damage of the boxing. I've, I've got to be honest, yeah. I think it's like so that many punches, that's that's how he sort of functions now. But it's it's a wonderful thing. I'm not jealous, once again. I got nothing but love for Cannon Briggs. Oh, Let's give a big shout, a big shout out, and a big. The audio on this is fucking shambolic, man. Honestly. Here he comes. What the fuck is Jake Paul's hair? Like seriously, mate. Like if your hair's receding or go, deal with it like a man. Like don't try and. To be fair, they've got that much money. They could easily have that hair transplant bullshit. Why don't they just do that instead of having this sort of swirly thing trying to cover up all the bald patches? What's that suit? What is going on, mate? Like, I'm a, a bit of a suit connoisseur. That looks like a bag of shit. It's like uh, he's been attacked by giant birds that have shit all over a perfectly good black suit. He's just come out of music. Deji's a bitch. De I mean, is that really the banter levels we're starting with here? This is a, a downgrade, isn't it? Deji! UK's biggest mistake! He'll kick himself when he watches Jeremy Kyle. I tell you, because there's a, there's a lot of mistakes on there that are way bigger than Deji, God bless. I love Deji, love him. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I love how he calls Deji the biggest mistake in the UK. Deji's response is, are you sure about that? It wasn't even like, it wasn't even like, you're wrong. That is hilarious. After KSI posts that pic of his little baby carrot, I think they got something to tell us. Oh. Jake Paul there, um, alluding that the KSI crew might be gay. Um, it is really, that's the levels that we're dealing with here. As if, as if, you know, that's appropriate. You know what I mean? Oh, you're gay. That is the worst trash talking I've ever heard. Star, thanks for being my biggest fan, bro. Mm. Mm. Microphone's not working. Another successful day at the production company. Why is Jake Paul singing it? I, I, this is so weird. This is bizarre. <laughs> this is so weird. This is real. As a fight fan, this is bizarre seeing this happening. This is mental. I feel like JJ needs to get on stage as quick as possible just to bring some norm normality to this. You know what I mean? He knows what he's doing. Cut his mic on. Cut his mic on. Cut his mic on. Who the fuck produced this? Because the, honestly, the microphones, the volume is fucking scandalous. Like, they should be fucking ripped from all their contracts. Yo, cheap ass Murray Jones. My, my man looking like Ellen DeGeneres. My man looking like Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> he does look like Ellen, though. He has got this sort of. A feminine look, though, does, uh, does Jake. Ellen's not the most feminine woman, but you, you get the point. What? Can you give Deji his glasses back? He actually, they are prescription. He needs them, so, you know, spec savers. Jake Paul, um, sort of showing his support for Tommy Robinson there. 
This ain't no game, Deji. This ain't no game, Deji. Deji's actually very good at games, so if it was, you'd be in trouble. I'm just happy I get the opportunity to punch you in the face. Okay. I'm gonna punch you right now. Come oh. here. There's a big size difference between Deji and Jake. Like, there's a there's a good few inches in height, but Jake's just a bigger person all fucking round. So, fair play. You've got to give credit to Deji. He's standing in the fucking ring with someone who's going to be quite a lot bigger than him. He doesn't give a fuck. No, he doesn't have to win to win, if that makes sense. Like, he's such an underdog for me in this that if Deji just getting in the ring is a fair one, and then if he actually does well and even gets to a decision, then I think he comes out with more credit than fucking Jake does because Jake should steamroll Deji in terms of size difference. It should not even be a competition. Why is, why is Jake shouting Mo Walmart? I don't know if he's got a brand deal with them. To the brother was, how you feel? How you feel about what's going on? Where you at in the state of mind right now? What's your state of mind? This is the third time he's asked Deji the same fucking question. My state of mind right now is just to, just to kill you. Okay. I, okay. I, want, I want to end okay. you. <laughs> I'm going to end you. <laughs> in their mind, that is like, serious as fuck. I love it. So this is real beef, y'all. Boys and girls. This is real beef. This is real beef. This is real beef. Uh, said like a true butcher. Um, he's interrupting here to say that these lads don't like each other. I think we've fucking picked that one up, mate. You know what I mean? We've, we've been watching the internet for the last six months. Do you know, like, this is the thing. A lot of people are actually currently tweeting me saying you should be hosting this. I'm not saying I should, but someone who understands the internet might have been a good choice. Love you. Love you, Shannon. But... Last word, I, last I, word. I just want to say something. Last word, last Sir, word. I know when you were with Melissa, you weren't, you yeah, weren't, sat, you weren't satisfying her, bro. <laughs> he said when you were with Melissa, you weren't satisfying <laughs> Oh, Deji getting personal. I like it, son. Please, Walmart! All right. The fact that he keeps saying Walmart is really annoying me. I'm kind of glad I wasn't there and it were... Shannon Briggs is because I would want to slap the fuck out of myself to be honest with you. Chin. You want to crack his chin? I'm going to crack, crack his chin. I'm going to crack his chin. You're going to crack it open. Yeah, open. <laughs> Shannon Briggs is repeating everything Denji says as if we can't hear. <laughs> he said he's going to wreck him, y'all. Open. Open. My, man's, my man's mouth's going to be hanging. The man said his mouth's going to be hanging loose, like, like loose. Shannon's just like stealing. Not in a good way, I've got to be honest. Bye. Five eight, oh. five eight. You're wearing heels. Go get your. <laughs> You're wearing heels. Can you get heels like them these days? Oh, you can still find them. To be fair, there's not that much of a height difference, is there? I mean, realistically, I, I, Jake Paul is thicker set guy, like just simple as. He's gonna have more power. There's just there's no two ways about it. He's gonna hit harder. Deji's just gonna have to be fast as fuck. Little Manny Pacquiao type job on there. Yeah. Deji just had to go up close there. He doesn't say so well without his glasses, just to check he's talking to Jake and not Shannon. I don't feel like they're, they're, they're getting in each other's head enough, really. There's not enough talking. There's just a lot of shouting and childish crap. He did used to work on the Disney Channel, so what do you expect? Well, we saw what happened in Logan's sparring video against a 250-pound man. To be fair, he was 250 pounds of chub. Do you know what I mean? He wasn't shredded. Okay, okay. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Why are you okay. staying? Sit down. No, no, no. I think Deji's almost like, wow, like he's in almost shock of what a character this Jake Paul lad is. Like he's a parody of himself and Deji's just almost like, what the fuck? He doesn't know what to say. <sighs> look, look at Shannon's face. Oh my God, he brought a bro. <laughs> Shannon looking, Shannon looking like he's never seen a pair of uh, like a, a bra in his fucking entire life. I literally could not have. I I, I don't think I should have been here. <laughs> to be honest, the more I watch it, I think, well, what the fuck do you do when two people are like this? Hey, Vidal, Vidal, you know it's a dead end. Stop training him. Oh. Yeah. The fact that Jake has just said. To Vidal, you know it's a dead end and stop training them it means he's very aware of who Vidal is and what and what Vidal's doing with them behind the scenes and so like that, that that's interesting that he's taking an interest that much that he even knows who's training them the, by first name. Vidal's a very fucking good trainer as well by the looks of it, so it must bother him a little bit. I, we don't know who the fuck training the pulse, do you know what I mean? He's such a fucking showman, isn't he, JJ? Yes. Cameraman thinks that Vidal's JJ. <laughs> <laughs> no idea who the fuck to put the camera on. Well done to the production team once again. Great. <laughs> JJ is telling Deji to relax. 
Are y'all ready to turn up? One more time. Are y'all ready to turn up? Shannon Briggs hasn't fought in a couple of years. Like, I just feel like he's milk and miss for everything. Like, good for him. I'd probably be doing the same thing, to be fair. Like, look at that prick. Honestly. It's mad that his hair... He, so basically, his hairline is so far back that he has to like sweep it all forward and then like curl it off this front so that it doesn't drop right down his fucking forehead. His hair is such a, a weird... I've never seen anyone sort of have to contort all their hair in a way of hiding their ball patches and still manage to make it look like they've got a natural hair. It's so bizarre. It's, I find the hair is really weird. Like just... Look mate, I mean, just shave it. They must really give a fuck about their image a lot. Oh, if Joe Weller had done that to JJ, I think JJ would have probably reacted a lot more. So we're seeing someone who's more self-confident and, and trying to be the bully than what Joe did. And if anything, I think it would have been the other way around with JJ and Joe. So it's kind of interesting that, do you know what I mean? But I don't think for a second, JJ fears him. I think it's just more like he's willing to play the game this time, whereas last time it was a more, it was more personal. I think. To be fair, those shades are actually all right. L literally, the amount of effort that haircut must take, like to, to curl it, or he, he must have to put those rolly things in that old, little old ladies put in, just to stop his hair from like falling on his. It's bizarre. It's weird because when they were in the nightclub the other night, there was a little video come out where JJ is bright up against Logan and Logan's like, every time I see you, I get less and less scared. And it's like, all right, so you're admitting that you're scared. And like, it, it, when there's no cameras in that, or, or less cameras, you could tell he was a bit more intimidated. But now I think he feels like everyone would jump on there and stop anything from going far. He's acting a lot more confident now. And I feel like it is an act. JJ literally got in there and sparred with Mike Bisping. Like, he's not gonna give a fuck about Logan Paul, seriously. Okay, okay, I like that. Okay. Hey, hey what do you guys think about KSI? <laughs> what do you guys think about KSI? A 10 year old could think of a better thing to say than that. The champ, the champ, there's an asterisk there. The champ for a limited time only. You're barely the champ. You're barely the champ. We all champs, we all champs. <laughs> Shannon, any chance to praise himself? Shut the fuck up. Okay, don't you dare fucking pipe up. Mr. I'm trying to duck and dive. Yeah, Jake Paul blatantly didn't want to fight JJ. He blatantly pussied out of that. Like size-wise, JJ and Jake would have been the right fight to make in terms of weight. And Jake didn't want that. They didn't, well, didn't want a fair fight. Sit down. Let's organize, Sit down. Organize, Sit down. Please, brother. Please, Let me answer please brother this. Jake. Please, brother Jake. Have a seat. Literally, Shannon's lost it here. Like, no, I, no one can get a fucking word in. Like, as the media, you have to tell people when it's their turn to talk. This is just, it's gone. Now, I'm getting tweeted now. Like, why, where are you? Why aren't you here constantly? I promise. I won't film you after I beat you in that ring, bro. Oh. <laughs> You know what, that's a fucking ode to what he did, the little prick. So, that's the first time Logan shut up, because it's actually about something that he fucking did. Oh, oh you remember this? Uh, Toy Story Alien, right? If you don't remember, that's the hat that Logan was wearing when he went into the suicide forest. JJ's just politely reminding him. You knew this wasn't going to be like a proper fight press conference, but even still, the polls have made this so fucking pantomime. It's unbelievable. Like, I, I want to hear more about what they want to do to each other, like, what what they think about each other. It, 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 a lot of this is just... Ah, it's silly, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Shannon should be trying to get more answers out of them and trying to actually get them to try and get in each other's head. What's happening is JJ's really good at getting like psychologically into his opponent's head. He's really good at talking about you as a person and he's not getting the chance to do any of that because this is just the Paul brothers screaming and shouting and Shannon Briggs is just sitting there letting it happen. Do you know, it's not really, not how I would like this to go down. The toilet roll with JJ's face on, YouTube for dummies. Like, I, I want to know how training's going. I want to know the weaknesses that they say in each other, little things like that, what they think of each other's personalities. Like, this is more mental. <laughs> so Logan, tell me, what the fuck happened in January? Was that you just getting started? Because if that was, 
Then boy, I'm about to end that shit real quick. JJ's, JJ's going for it now. He's trying to get into his rhythm. It's taken a while though, because like obviously the crowd's screaming at him or whatever. Then those two imbeciles across from him are trying to fucking scream him down. He's getting into it now. Oh my god. Oh, oh he's got you the right he's now. got the it's blood wig. <laughs> this is gonna look Make so sure funny. You zoom into my face for this. This is what you're gonna say once you lose. Okay. JJ looks so funny I in that fucking way. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. I love the fact that JJ is directing everyone because he knows the shot that he wants to go out on the internet after this is all done. I've made a severe and continuous <laughs> <laughs> oh, JJ's just quoted the video that Logan released after the Suicide Forest video and basically like ripped a piece out of him. That's pissed Logan off that much. He's just ripped the wig off. That's really fucked him off. That is really got. Finally, this is getting under his skin big time. Oh, oh, he, oh he's went for the bandana. JJ's fucking losing it. Oh, everyone's on the fucking stage now. Fuck's sake. Yeah, if anything went down there, Vidal would pretty much knock every fucker out on that stage. That's really wound Logan up. I can't believe how much that's wound him up. Look at him, he's fucking raging. And JJ, not a fucking blink. Like, he doesn't give a shit. He's right in his face. He doesn't give a fuck. To be fair, I don't think anyone was trying to swing at each other there, but I think Logan couldn't help but put his hands on JJ because he was... That is a humiliating memory for him. The fact that he had to do that video after the suicide forest. Right now he's trying to play the alpha male and that is humiliation. He, he wants everyone to forget about that. No one will ever forget about that, ever. And that's why so many people want JJ to fucking wreck him in this fight. <clears throat> Not the best way to end it. It was a bit like the first press conference between Wella and JJ, but not, not quite as good. Do you know what I mean? It was just... But there were some good moments in there, that, you know, getting under the skin a little bit. But from a press conference, you want to see someone get a psychological advantage. The only thing that happened there was JJ really wound fuck out of Logan at one point. And I think Logan was the one who snapped it. Logan couldn't handle it. And I think there's a, a little window into what JJ can exploit in the next press conference. If I'm asked to be there, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm going to be apprehensive about this. Because, like, I want to be part of something good. And that, to me, was like... You know, there was some good moments, but there was bits where it was embarrassing. Do you know what I'm saying? So hopefully the fights are going to be good. I actually think the fights are going to be good because these cunts are so fucking competitive that they're going to have to train their ass off. And I know for a fact, JJ is going to be ready. So Logan better be fucking ready, basically. Um, I fucking really, really want JJ to beat Logan. I, I, honestly, I, I, I've had a lot of fights I've watched in my time where I really want someone to win. I've never wanted someone to win this badly before because Logan, what he did was disgusting and, and for the UK especially, we need JJ to fucking do this for us a lot, like big time. But he's up against a physical challenge here. Like Logan is a big lad and JJ is going to have to use every bit of skill he's learned in the last year and a half to fucking pull this off. Jake Paul, Deji on the other hand, I feel like there's a massive advantage for Jake in terms of a physical. Deji just is nowhere near as big as him, but I just think he should go for a points decision. Just jab, move, move around the ring. Don't let him pin you down into the corner, whatever the fuck, and just fight as quick as you possibly fucking can. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. I know a lot of people are going to look at this and say it's a joke, but this is massive for YouTube. It is fucking huge, and... I think I might be commentating on it, so I'm looking forward to it. The overall take-homes from that press conference is, wasn't great, let's be honest. I mean, it was a bit, it was, there were some bits that I really liked, but there was a few embarrassing bits as well. The, the, the main takeaway from it has got to be the fact that Logan was so annoyed and embarrassed at what JJ was doing impersonating him that he couldn't help but put his hands on him. That means he's not fully in control of his emotions. You've seen when Logan come close to JJ, JJ, JJ didn't even flinch. He's in control. He's been in the ring enough to have to control his emotions. And I think that that experience is going to benefit him a lot. I'm not saying it's going to win the fight for him, but it can't hurt him. It's only going to help him. Logan, on the other hand, he's going to have to fucking catch JJ up as quick as he possibly can if he wants a chance in this fight because that sparring video I've seen, basic. 
at best. I mean, he was throwing punches wildly. So many of them didn't land. All right, he dropped them and staggered them, but you're not going to catch JJ like that. That's not going to be good enough to beat JJ, that footage I've seen. It, they might have released that to make him look worse. They might have released it to make him look better. They might have released it just because it's the only time he's fucking dropped someone yet. We don't know. All I've got is that footage to go off, and it didn't look great. JJ is the better boxer. No doubt in my mind about that. But Logan's got the physical advantage. Jake versus Deji on the other hand. Deji's early footage looked fucking terrible. There's just no other way you can describe it. But he's told us he's a lot better now. Jake on the other hand, massive physical advantage, but he might be fucking shit at boxing. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Deji just needs to be fast and go for a points decision. Don't try and knock the kid out. Just land and move. Get the fuck out of the way of the big shots. Uh, I'm really excited for this. I know a lot of you out there will think it's cringeworthy. It is a little bit at times, obviously. They're not professional fighters. But I think that when these lads get in the ring, they're going to give it everything because egotistically, none of them want to be humiliated. And there's every chance that that could happen. And if it does, there's so much for them to lose. Do you know what I mean? They have to go in there. I think Deji's the only person who's pretty safe here because Deji is a funny fucking guy and he's massively at a disadvantage physically. The rest of them have all got something to lose here. So that's what makes this massive, as well as the views, as well as the fact that hopefully I'll be commentating. So fingers crossed. Just let, let JJ know I should commentate for fuck's sake. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.